Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Deb here. So I am about to do my usual. Let me just get out of my garage first. I'm about to do my usual um bi-weekly shopping. It's not now when the kids are eating like a bunch, I told you so. It's gonna be a bi-weekly shopping. Um so I'm about to do that. Um, but I wanted to make this a car video. I wanted to mount my phone and I just realized I don't have a good mount for my phone. Um, I got to change that though <laughs> because I need to mount my phone. But it's a beautiful day today, 68 degrees and I'm excited. Um, it's almost 11. I was meant to like leave since I guess nine, but then self-care took over and I had all the stuff to take care of and yeah, it's leaving now. But um we are completely oh shoot my seatbelt girl this is not nigeria <laughs> nigeria people drive without seatbelts sometimes and it's not the appropriate thing to do but anyways like i was saying so i was supposed to um leave earlier but you know things got in the way i couldn't do anything else so i just decided to leave now um so i'm gonna run to my usual place you should know by now so toll foods trader joe's costco and um one of the organic store that i usually go to the priority right now i think i can realistically do two stores because i'm picking up my kids so i can literally do um whole foods because we oh yeah that's what i was saying we ran out of for like fresh ingredients like fresh produce I have some veggies. I have a cabbage, a head of cabbage. I have green onion and I have a Brussels sprout, but that's about it. And carrots, sorry. And that's about it. We ran out of everything fresh, all the fruits. Um, my, I have one more, oof, I have one more bag of lemon in my house. So I have that, um, but I need to go restock on the fresh stuff. All my onions are gone too as well. Um, so I'm sort of stuck on that too. Um, so it's a whole bunch of stuff. So I want to do that. That's so priority is basically um, Whole Foods. And then after that, um, I think, would it be Costco? No, second priority will be Trader Joe's because I need my onions and um, other trinkets that I get from Trader Joe's. So my usuals that I get from Trader Joe's. So I need those. So I think Trader Joe's will be next, but they're pretty close to each other so that I can knock those two stores like down back to back. Um, and then if I can, I wanted to, wow. <laughs> Anyways, if I can, I just saw a car that was just bashed in. But anyways, if I can, I want to stop at Target or Costco because my son has been asking for basketballs and balls to play with in school um, and they need it for recess. Um, their school doesn't provide that for some reason or another. I don't know. So I need to like basically find um, that for him. So I think Costco may be the last bit, but close, Costco is close to my house. So I can do that on my way back. That's what's going on. How are you guys doing? I, I'm really not. I, I, I'm really not doing anything. I thought about how mundane life can be because life is really just about routine so you get up you do the same thing you go to sleep especially when you have kids you have to get into a routine because it creates stability creates um security creates clarity right so you just have to just incorporate routine into your like daily activities into your daily um ventures right um so i find that life can be mundane um because you have to do the same thing to kind of survive. I feel like life is very structured. If you are working for somebody, obviously, if you, even if you own your own business, life is very structured because there are certain things that you have to do to maintain um, a good business, you know, be a good employee. Like there's a lot of stuff. So I think life can be mundane. I think we add a little spice here and there, like traveling, hanging out with family, like that kind of stuff makes spices life up a bit. But generally life is just mundane. You just do the same thing. So I think you just have to find ways to encourage yourself, right? In life. I am on my way to Whole Foods first and there's this scenic route that I take. It's just all woods. And <laughs> I love taking this. 
route and being on the phone or like with my sister obviously it's great to have a sister by the way so being on the phone with my sister my sister's like my best not like my sister's my best friend like my good friend like we just talk about any and anything so like i like being on that or i can just listen to a podcast or something but i love the scenic route so i'm about to call it a whatever until my next video this is basically gonna be a mesh up of like videos as usual um Remember when I went into cooking frenzy? I'm now not cooking a lot, so it feels good. I just go get the food that I've cooked out of the freezer and warm it up, and we have dinner. Um, I did make, like, stuff yesterday, but it's not, like, the main, like, sauces and stuff, so I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, but like I said, I'm about to drive the scenic route, and I want to just be zen and focus on that. It's, it's scenic because it's basically just driving through woods, you see horses, you see like um, pigs, but it's just like the, it feels like the countryside, but it's not the countryside. It's like tucked away from the suburban area. So I love that. I love that. It allows me to be in my mind. And it's for about 20, 25 minutes on there. So it's a good ride and I love it. So I'm going to enjoy that. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. I will catch you up. I actually wanted, I want to do a Trader Joe's haul every now and then because i feel like trader joe's adds new products every now and then and it makes it interesting either that or costco i don't know the whole food haul i don't i'm not sure about that because i'm just getting produce i'm getting some it, no whole foods is not whole foods is basically basically the same thing that i get all the time so i'm not going to do a whole foods haul but i will do a costco or maybe a Trader Joe's haul. We'll see. Or maybe I won't do a haul at all. We'll see how I feel. And it depends on what time I get back home from doing all this. I am just finished with uh, Whole Foods. It's 107. Running to Trader Joe's and then Costco. I can do this before 3 o'clock. Hey, hey, hey. But yeah, let's go. So essentially, this is the moisturizer I was talking about. Um, so it's... Gosh. It's oil free, it's fragrance free, it's invisible, it's an invisible gel formula. And I've heard great reviews about this. The only issue I have with this is that um I think it's a chemical sunscreen, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's it's not mineral, so I don't know. I've been I don't like I kind of like my um, sunscreen to have a bit of oil, a little glow, so this doesn't, but it goes on matte. It's really good. It's for $8.99, so a lot of people are raving about this. Like the sign says, it's a seasonal item, so it means it's not going to be here year-round, but I heard good reviews about this, so this is good. By the way, if you guys haven't tried this on your popcorn, please do. I have like a lot of this, but this is so good on your popcorn after you pop it, like I pop my popcorn. And you put this on, oh my god, it's so good. It is $1.99. The Lotte um, seasoning blend, but really, really good. So let's keep going. I'm in the skincare section. So essentially, this is like the hand soaps and the soaps. This is uh, shampoo and all that stuff. And this is the skin care area. So this is my micellar cleanser. I ended up liking this. I'm going to get two of this. My lazy days, this works very well. It is... $3.99, so I'm gonna get two of that. So that my cart. Then, um, so the whole ball of oil I got last time, remember? And then my ruler oil. So I'm gonna pick up two of this. It's for $6.99. I really like how this oil penetrates into my skin and it does the job that I wanted to do, so which is glow and give me a dewy look. So that's what I want. But this is the skin care aisle bunch of stuff oh they even have dry shampoo Ooh, I was looking for shampoo actually so this is paraben and phthalate phthalate free so I come here and just look at like what they have on sale or new items that they've had it um, they have even a retinol retinol night serum because I don't like to buy retinol this is 0.3 percent so not really high not really potent right they have the hydrating um, eye cream too as well. 
Yeah, let's try the shampoo. Let's try the shampoo. I think now I still have 233, so I think I have time to run to Target. Today my day is gone. Today is just dedicated to this. My day is done. Once my kids get back from school, it's homework, it's me teaching them and doing lessons. So and then cooking dinner. So that's done. My day is done today. But that's okay. Um, I'm gonna run to Target and see if I can get the balls that I said I was going to get. Um because they didn't have it at Costco. They usually have basketballs at Costco, but they don't have it. So I'm going to go there, get the balls. And that's about it. Come back home. But yeah, that's it. I'm going to be rushing from now till tonight because I have to run to Target, pick up my kids. I think I'm going to eat lunch, warm up lunch, and then take my lunch with me to Target. Nowadays, I don't like like grabbing lunch. I'm like, I didn't eat anything all morning, not like not even a cup of tea. Um, and I am kind of hungry, but I'm so reluctant to buy food from outside because I'm so used to eating my food, food that I cook from home. So I'll just do that. So essentially I did it all. I did it all to pat myself on the shoulders. Um, now <laughs> waiting to pick up my kids, but, um, gosh, I did it. So I got balls. <laughs> I got balls, balls, balls. I got basically a football, a soccer ball, a basketball, and a ball that you throw in the playground. So, put myself back. I'm proud of myself. Plus, I ate lunch in the car. It was really good. I really need to get more. It was like those curry noodles that I made and moi moi, but I still need to get some more because I'm still hungry. And then, as usual, we all know what I love to drink for my lunch. Toba Chica. So, yeah. Guys, that is it. What a day. What a day. Bye. I'll catch you guys. So, guys, I am back home. I'm back home. <sighs> As usual, I am cooking. This is all hot soup ready to be chopped. It's almost done. I have one minute left. But this is all hot soup ready to be eaten. So good. Oh, it's but yeah. Almost done. A big pot. Come on, chop. I'm gonna eat. I usually eat this with Gary or Eba. Sorry, Eba. Or, um, so I usually eat this with Eba or, um, what do you call this then? Or I can use, um, apple, but we'll see. I like Eba basically with this, but yeah, my soup is ready. Or actually, it's done. I'm turning the fire off, fire is off, and ready to be eaten. I am making my base for my goosey, um, soup. But yeah, this is my base for my Egusi soup. Okay, Egusi is done too. Look at that, I like that. So Egusi is done too. So I have my Egusi. Look at that, look at that. I have my Egusi and then my Aura. Our house soup that I made earlier. So that's that. I was going to make up now, but I'll do that for tomorrow. But yeah, two soups in. I have put to leave. I think I have a car in the fridge. So, so yeah. I can show you the simple Trader Joe's haul, but I'm not like the food. I bought onions, I bought peppers, I bought coconut flakes. Yeah, nothing interesting. I bought plantain chips, like nothing interesting. The haul. I saw this body oil at Trader Joe's, so I'm gonna use it. You saw me pick up the Marcella wipes. This is gonna be such a rushed, um, whatever. And then the Marula oil I picked up, two of it. And that's essentially, oh yeah, and then you saw the dry shampoo, shampoo, shampoo. <laughs> the dry shampoo that I said I'm gonna try. That's literally it. I will catch you guys. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. So guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.